All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to create automatic chapter markers or like a little skip menu inside of your video so that once it's done, it'll look kind of like this one where you can hover over the timeline and it's automatically split up into separate individual chunks and it's actually relatively easy to set this up. And really what you're doing is you're writing all those time codes down inside of the description of your video, and then YouTube is smart enough to know to automatically turn those into chapter markers. So the first thing you need to do is get a video and have it all nice and edited and upload it and have it to this stage right here where you're able to put in all the information, upload a thumbnail, and then write out a nice description about it. And it'll help if you've already got all of those time codes set up. So let's just make a little section down here. I'll probably put it just before the extra little hashtags at the bottom of the description. And this is where I'll just type in the uh, skip index. And then usually those start at time zero, uh, colon zero, zero. And then we'll just call this the intro slash what is not so bot because this is a tutorial about the discord bot not so bot and it helps if before you get to this point that while you're editing you do something that looks a little bit like this where as you go through and edit you leave yourself little markers at the top of your little timeline for your sequence that tells you where each individual thing starts so that you know where to click to and write down like at this time point 958 I took a look at you know whatever you get what I'm saying so back here we'll just write down from my little list of chapter markers we'll just type in in parentheses 033 and then this one is how to invite not so bot then after that we've got 123 using commands prefixes and then after that we've got 218 basic image editing effects next up it's 402 and then we've got adding text and now the way that you can do this is as you save this you can go pop over to your video link because there's always a preview link and you can see it's starting to populate the video timeline with all of my automatic chapter markers. And if you don't see this for whatever reason, I will say there are a couple things that I borked up the first time that I created that. And the first thing is always start at zero colon zero zero. It has to start at zero or else it doesn't know what to do with the information. <coughs> You don't necessarily have to add an end point, like the end time code for what is supposed to be the very end of the video, but you have to start with zero zero or else it doesn't recognize this as an automatic chapter menu. The other thing is make sure that all of your different items are showing up here when you hover over them inside of your timeline, because if they're not, you might have like forgotten to put the colon in there or you put a semicolon instead or whatever you want to just make sure that you've got all of that in the correct syntax otherwise it'll disappear and things will break and just not work the way that you want like anything else in making videos and uploading them to youtube you want to make sure that all of them are correct and they show up the way that you want them to and the good news is you don't have to just do this right when you upload the video and get ready to publish it. You can add this to old videos. You can just publish a video and think to yourself, oh, I forgot and go back and add it later if you had all the information ready to go. And there's certainly nothing wrong with adding these later because a lot of viewers, especially on longer videos that are supposed to be educational or easy to navigate, sometimes they want to just jump to that one really funny part of your Sea of Thieves montage and it's just easier just to go right there than to make them watch the entire 15 minute video. All right, and so just like that, I have all of my various time codes inputted there, so I should be able to reload my little preview. 
and be able to see all of those little chunks appear. Now do note that sometimes when you're still in the middle of uploading it and this isn't fully live, the actual part where it pops up to show you what the text is saying doesn't always appear correctly in the preview. That's fine, don't freak out, it just happens sometimes like what you're seeing here. But once it's fully published, it should look like this, and you should be able to not only, you know, parse over the whole video and see a preview of whatever this section is in the timeline, but it should also show you the title of that chapter, and if you go right to the start, it should start right on that same time that you set it up as. And then, for anyone who's curious, they can also pop down here if they prefer, search for the thing that they want, and then click the time code directly. Both of these are a perfectly valid option, and don't worry that this appears in the video description, it's just sort of a thing. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at how to make automatically generated chapter markers inside of YouTube by simply writing down the time code, giving it a title, and then moving on to the next one. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.